Hello, this is Parm King, and this is a foundry tip about doors and grids. In fact, this is just a very short foundry tip, and I'm putting this together because I'm putting one of my foundry asset packs together. Uh, this is a revamp of Count's Manor. It's a revamp of uh, Death House. And there's some situations where your doors and your grids don't line, line up. No matter how many times you do it, your door and your grids just don't line up, and you're concerned about fog of war and lighting. And I just wanted to show you a couple of fixes that I use to solve that problem. So we're gonna use this example right here. Now, these are five foot squares. My map are five foot squares. And you can see my grid lines are five foot squares. And I've got this double door going into this room down below. Now, if we look at our my walling situation here, um, I wanna have both these doors, but I wanna control the lighting. Now, a quick rule of thumb is if you're using one of these solid walls, and your halfway, halfway is the half, you know, halfway mark across your grid. So we've got this grid right here. In fact, let me make these grids just pop for you a little bit more so you can really see them. I'm gonna make these grids really dark uh, so that you can see them. Okay, so each one of these five foot squares, if I draw the, if I draw this wall and I bring it more than halfway, right? Let's say my door is just not lining up right the way I want to, it's more than halfway. If I'm my character, I'm not gonna be able to get, I'm, I'm trying to move down and I can't get through this door. It's just not working. I can go up, I can go down, can't get down. Now, if I move it just, if the door happens to line up, so it's just halfway through like this, then my, my character's gonna be able to get through, right? So the rule of thumb is, the first rule of thumb is if my solid wall goes uh, just halfway through that grid, then my guy will be able to pass through, my tokens will be able to pass through. If, if it goes further, it's not going to. So how do I deal, just in case, let's, let's look at this another way. Let's say in this situation, I, uh, the door is just not gonna be centered. What you can do is this. You can bring your door, just stop right here, but you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna say, well, I don't want him to see this through this wall. This is kind of screwing up my fog of war. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use your masking wall, this one here with a little mask, and you're gonna draw that out as far as you want and connect it. And then right here, you can do your doors. So, because uh, the door size doesn't matter if you're gonna use a ma masking wall, right? So now you've got your door right here. And you're gonna go, well, that must look silly, right? And then we'll just do the other door right here. We'll just connect another door. So in both these situations, I have two doors, the double doors, I have one with a wall going almost halfway through, and the other one where I have a masking wall. When we go back to our, 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 our dude, we will reset the fog of war. What our player is going to see is this. It's going to look identical to the player. Now, if I open up this door, you can see the light moves through here like normal, and the, the fog of war works great. And I'm going to close this and reset the fog of war. All right, and let's go back to him. He opens up this door and the fog of war looks like it works just like it does on the other side. In both cases, he can go through. That masking wall is going to keep that light from moving through, right? He's only gonna be able to see through the door. In this case, it's the same thing, right? He's only gonna be able to see through the door. If I close this door and close this door, he can't see through the other side. So as you can see, both uh, ways work. If you run into a scenario where the wall won't line up, just go ahead and use the masking wall to make up the difference to the door if you wanna control light. So this is one example where masking walls work phenomenal to, to deal with your fog of war and your light and lining it up with the door. You need your, your character to get through so they can move on but you wanna control the light in the fog of war based on what's going on on the map. So this is just a quick video. I hope this was helpful, giving you an understand where the walls go and stopping in the grid and, and an alternative of using masking wall. Hey, until next time, may all your roles be critically successful.